Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Red Manalili again, and welcome to Red Randoms. If you're new here, this channel is just anything random or anything under the sun. And for today's random video, we don't have much to do. We're important. I just want to share with you what my experience ko sa ita try kong first time. Ko ano maging experience ko sa first time na ita try kong to in for today. I really miss Filipino food already, especially yung mga easy to cook na mga pagkain. Like for example, pancit canton. Kaya for today, we are going to try to cook this Indomie. I think it's pancit canton here in Saudi Arabia. Ang brand name is Indomie. <laughs> so, come on, join me as I cook and try this out para malaman natin kung anong diferensya or pinakaiba ng pancit canton sa Pilipinas at ng Indomie na to. This one is flavored spicy. So, let's go! Actually, kaka-uwi ko lang ng work. That's why I wanna try to cook a simple snack or merienda for myself today. Ayan, nagpapakulo na tayo na water at ang social, no? Kasi yung pangluto ko ng boiling water is teflon pan. Yung pot namin may nakalagay palang ulam that's why hindi ko matanggal yung laman. Sa teflon pan nila ako magluluto ng Indomie Instant Noodles. So again, this one is Indomie Instant Noodles. It's actually hot and spicy fried noodles. So I think same din lang naman siya ng procedure ng pagluto. Like, cook noodles in 400 ml water for 5 minutes. Ito nga nakalagay ito is via microwave. Pero I think pwede rin naman siya sa pot or sa pan. So after nun, pag naluto mo na siya for 5 minutes, i re remove lang natin noodles from the water and it will drain it. We will mix all the seasoning sachets and add noodles to the seasoning mix well. So ganun lang siya. Parang nga lang siyang pasit canton. But we will try lang kung ano yung difference ng noodles niya at yung lasa niya compared doon sa usual na lucky me pansit canton na kinakain natin sa Philippines. Siguro habang hinihintay natin kumulo yung indomie, ay siguro habang hinihintay natin kumulo yung water, i-flash ko muna experience ko kagabi ng pagkain ng authentic beef shawarma. Thank you sir Eris for the treat, so flash ko muna. Mmm! Nice! First time trying shawarma here in Saudi. Thank you kay sir Eros. Tanem! Hello! This is spicy, no? A little bit, yeah. Maybe not. 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 Maybe Pilapil. It's like vegetable shawarma. Yeah, it's almost four minutes, so kukunin natin yung noodles, didrain natin yung water. There you go! So bilang commercial lang tayo na po yung aking first time experience ng pagkain ng beef shawarma. Now, habang pinapanood niyo po, yung naisa lang ko na yung noodles. So we're about to drain the noodles now from the water. And after that, I'll show you kung ano yung mga ingredients or seasoning na kasama doon sa loob ng packaging. Okay? Let's go! So, ayan, nakikita nyo may, may usok-usok pa kasi ayan nga yung, yung noodles. However, only to find out na wala pala kaming is... Ay, ano ba yan yung usok? <laughs> only to find out na wala pala kaming strainer. So gagantuin ko na lang siya para ilipat sa bowl. I'm not sure kung kasha siya dito kasi we have a bigger plate. So, ang laki niya. So, dito na lang. And then, well, the noodle smells just like the same sa pancit canton and noodles lang kasi ito eh. Ah, kasha naman siya sa small bowl ang ginamit ko. So, ito na siya. Haluan na natin ang seasoning. Let's go. So, now, i na natin yung noodles together with the seasoning. And here you go. So first, parang meron siyang powder. Yung parang powder din na meron tayo sa Pancit Canton. It's actually Maggi na brand. And then, meron siyang seasoning powder din. At isang chili powder combined in one pack. Pero may separate or divider siya. And then, yung sa sauce natin na meron tayo sa Pancit Canton. Yung parang toyo. This one, the toyo and the oil. Pero meron silang dagdag na parang, I don't know kung ano to. 
uh, fried onion or bawang goreng. Oh, bawang goreng or fried onion. Nice. So, tatlo yung meron sa loob ng packaging. Now, let's start mixing it up. It's peeled! OMG! So, yan nahalo na natin or nailagay na natin yung seasoning at yung powder dun sa ating noodles. So, this is how it looks like bago ko siya i-mix. And then... It's like pancit canton din. Actually, the taste is just the same. Pero siguro yung lasa, of course, yun magkakaiba. Natapon ko yung konting sa sa kamay ko. After kung maghugas, it's still there. So, talagang maano siya, malasa siya. Parang it lingers yung amoy. I'm excited! So, let's try! Tap na siya. Wow! I suppose to add egg, pero wag muna kasi para at least manamnam natin yung lasa talaga niya. Oh! Oh! Namiss mo yung pancit kanto, ano? Just the same as pancit canton, I think. Para sa pancit canton, yung kule orange na variant, yung sweet and spicy flavor. Yun pa naman yung favorite ko sa ako yata na kuwa ko. Actually, I bought this sa Astro Supermarket for around I think seven real. Seven real for five bucks na yon. So mura nasa. I also have my new favorite actually. Wow! This one is Naholi, if I'm not mistaken, from the brand itself. So it's like a fudgy bar of the Philippines. Pero yung feeling niya is like a vanilla or some sort of milk. Actually, meron din siyang chocolate variant at iba pang mga flavor. But I chose this one because uh, ayan vanilla pala siya. I chose this one because I want something vanilla muna for for that day. Nung binili ko tong mga to. This one I think cost of about seven real lang din for ten pieces. Ten pieces. Madam niyo niya. So it's like a fudgy bar of the Philippines. Topping on. And ganda siya kalaki. And then... Mmm. Hmm. Hindi masaya makita. Basta yun yung white. Yan yung vanilla filling. This is one of my favorites so far. So! Ang review ko dito sa product na to out of 5. Mmm. Out of 5, I'll give it a 4.5. Yung .5, ang reason ko dun is that it's a little salty, so medyo maalat-alat siya. So maybe you can lessen the powder or the seasoning na imi-mix mo. But overall, it's nice. It's that pancit canton. Lack me pancit canton of the Philippines. Best served with water, I guess. Ah, no! <laughs> Best served with egg. Like sunny side up egg or hard boiled egg. And of course, for this, I'll give it a 5 out of 5 star. Because it's really good. And it's really cheap. So, hindi ko na tatapos yung pagkain ito. That's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, please consider subscribing and hit that bell button to get updated to my future latest vlog. Again, this is Fred Manalili and I'll see you on my next Red Randoms. Bye!